Let's walk through an example of how a user would check out a component to make a change and save it as a new version. To version a component, you will need to check it out first. We'll work with one of our TIA Portal components. You'll see here that we have one that's still in gray because it has not been checked out yet. We can either select it, hit check out from the menu bar at the top, or we can right click and check it out this way. We now get our checkout dialog box, and here on the left we have our project tree. We can continue adding additional components to our list if we want to. If there's any extras here that we don't want to check out, we can move them back. If you have a third party supplier that will be doing some development for you, you can select this checkbox here and then provide a target directory. This target directory could be a network share, a local folder, USB stick, or other storage device. We will package everything needed for that vendor in the target directory and you would simply supply those files to them. They do their work as usual and then provide those files back to you. You can then double click on the version dog file that is included with their files or start the import process from here in the menu bar. You'll be able to do a compare of their changes along with seeing their notes to verify that the work they've been doing is acceptable before accepting it into version dog. Now you'll typically want to let others know that you're working on these components. To do so, you would select Under Development. Under Development will let others know that you're working on them, but it will not stop them from checking items in or out. You also have the option to lock it from other users by checking this checkbox here. If you select Lock from other users, then other users can still check the component out, but they won't be able to check it back in until you've unlocked it. Now we don't stop the process of checking components out in either of these situations as there might be a reason why some folks want to check something out to look at it in their editor without making changes. So we don't want to stop that workflow process. However, VersionDog tracks any changes that happen so no matter what you select or don't select, you don't have to worry about accidental overwrites. Also, those who check components out will get a notification that others have it checked out, so there are no cases where someone wasn't aware that someone else was working on it. At this point, you can add a note letting others know how long you might be working on it, maybe working on next two days. And then we check it out. And you will now see that it's not in gray anymore. Now each component type is assigned to its appropriate editor so that when we click open with editor, it'll open that component in its assigned editor so we can make changes. For example, if I selected an S7 component and hit open with editor, version dog would open that component within a Siemens editor. If I selected the RS Logix 500 component, version dog would open that component in a Rockwell editor. Let's go ahead and make sure our TIA portal is selected and then open with our editor. You'll see that it is opening our TIA portal editor and then that project will get loaded into the editor. Once our editor is open and our project is loaded, let's go ahead and make some changes. Let's go into our PLC1. We'll open up a program block. Maybe we want to go into our main and make some changes. Let's go ahead and add something. Maybe we want to add a new block, organizational block. Add some information here real quick. Let's go into test FC. I'm going to actually delete a line within this code. Delete that line. Let's go ahead and make some PLC change uh, changes to our tags. Maybe we want to make this a character type. We can change the access to another one. And then once we're satisfied with the changes we've made, uh, we can go ahead and save our project, close the editor, Now we don't have to actually write down the changes we made because when you create a new version, version dog will do a compare and show you the changes and log those changes for you. And now if you look here, you'll see the little pencil icon. You'll see a pencil icon here. This shows you that edit, edits have been made and changes have been made from the previous version. 
Now we can go ahead and go away to lunch, come back, open with our editor, continue working, come back several days later, open with our editor, continue working. And at the point we're satisfied with our changes and want to create the new version, we just make sure it's selected and we can create a new version. Now version dog will go in and actually do a compare between the version we created and the version that we started with. And you'll be able to see those changes visually. And then you can also add your notes about those changes. You'll see here we have a version 5 that we started with. Here's the changes we've made for our version 6. We can change the version identifier here if we want to. Then we want to put our changes in as a whole. Maybe this was something like a, a feature request. And you might use a ticketing system. You can put that number in here. And you can add more detailed notes here. Several thousand additional characters. And then here, you're going to want to log the specific change that you made here. Maybe this is something like a bug fix. You know, block changes. Then you go to your next change. You take a look at that here. Maybe this was a feature addition. More notes here. Go to the next one. Put maybe something like support added and then notes. And then if we are connected to the network and we want to go ahead and check this into the server immediately, we can go ahead and create our version and check it in right here. Now if we're disconnected from the network, working remotely, or for whatever other reason we don't want to check it in immediately, we can select this button here. And now you'll notice that our local version is version 6 because it's still on our local machine. The server version is still version 5 and they're not equal. Now once you're back in the office or back on the network or you're ready to check this into the server, then you can check it in with a button here. Get your check-in dialog box. Check in and close. And now you'll see that the local version 6 and the server version 6. Now here's where you start getting some more of the history details. So you can see here, when we check this version 6 in, I'm set up as administrator, so you see my username here, you see my changes in my notes, and you see all the changes that I made in all my notes here. At this point, I or any of my colleagues can also come in here and see this information, and they can also do a visual compare by right-clicking here and comparing with my previous version and see those changes that I made visually. Now that this is entered, any of my colleagues can come check out version 6 and start working on a new version.